Now, 13 WMAZ Sports with Connor Hines. All right, how are we doing? Central Georgia, the biggest game in the history of the Mercer football program today is a win for the Bears. Yeah, Gardner Webb head coach Trey Lamb making his return to Macon, a place that he coached for four seasons with the Bears. Look, you can talk about all the storylines you want, but none of that mattered as soon as the Bears and Bulldogs hit the field tonight. Toby the Bear, he was revved up and ready to go for his first playoff game. Final minute, first quarter, Peavy gets popping. The name is Carter Peavy, and he finds his main man, Ty James, over the middle. You can move those chains, turn around to start the second quarter, and number seven calls his own number. Peavy in for the score. It's 7-0 Bears with under 14 minutes to play in the first half. Mercer's defense, one of the best in the country. Richie Coffey showing why. Coming in piping hot. Dropping Jalen King in the backfield for a big sack on third down. The Bears get the ball back and do this. Who needs to throw when you got moves like Peavy? Mercer's quarterback takes off and all the way off. 72 yards to the house. The Bears lead it 14 nothing. How about that? The Bulldogs need a response. So they'll get one. Jalen King looking end zone. Kareem Page. Coming down with it for Gardner Webb. The running Bulldogs are running into the end zone. They're on the board with six minutes to play in the half. And then it was a whole lot of nothing. Until under nine minutes to play in this game, the Bears settle for a field goal from Reese Griffin. 30 yarder makes it a 10 point game. Last call for the Bulldogs, final drive. That should do it right there. Lance Wise picks it in the secondary for the Bears. His fifth interception of the season and no doubt his biggest. The Bears beat the Bulldogs in their first ever playoff game, 17-7, your final at Five Star Stadium. Winning takes a whole university, okay? So it's it's a president that believes in it, it's an AD, it's 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 professors, it's it's support staff, um, and then the people in this building that believe in what we're doing. And that, that takes a whole university, you know, to give yourself a chance to be successful. And they've made the investment in us, and I believe we're just gonna keep getting better. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna compete nationally and that's where we want to grow this program. So we've come a long way and we're going to keep getting better. Man, well said from Coach Chronic. What a job he has done in a really short amount of time at Mercer. And now you take a look at the updated bracket. The Bears rewarded with a trip to South Dakota to take on the number one ranked team in the country. The South Dakota State Jackrabbits have not lost a game since September of last year. They are a perfect 11 and 0 and will host Mercer at home next Saturday at 1 p.m in the second round.